Hi, I'm John Sisk with Audio Authority. I'd like to demonstrate our Enhanced Flight 2800 Series Ground Power Unit, or GPU. It's specially designed to supply up to 70 amps of 28 volt DC power to your aircraft's external power receptacle. Its output is absolutely stable, safe, and noise-free, perfectly replicating the in-flight electrical environment. It's ideal for powering aircraft with contemporary electronic cockpits for periodic database updates, cockpit procedures training, exhibitions and demonstration, preserving battery power during pre-flight inspections, operating aircraft lighting and environmental systems, as well as general maintenance and troubleshooting. Today I'll demonstrate its use with this Piper Mirage. But our GPU can be used with a wide range of aircraft, from piston engine trainers up through turboprops and light jets. Generally aircraft up to about 12,000 pounds. I would also point out that this is not a start card. It's for airframe power only. It should never be used to start, assist, or motor a turbine engine. That requires several hundred amps. Now let me show you how it works. The GPU is lightweight, so it's easily portable. Its case features removable cord and tool storage on each side, and large digital output indicators for both voltage and current, angled for optimal viewing. A 2 meter output cable with a standard 3 pin oval aircraft plug is also included. The GPU has internal cooling fans with the intake at the back and the exhaust out the bottom of the front of the case. Take care not to block either as ventilation is necessary for proper operation of the GPU. With 89% efficiency, our GPU provides the maximum power possible from an ordinary wall outlet. To realize its full capacity, you'll need a 20 amp circuit. If yours is only 15 amps, the GPU will still work fine, but its output will be input limited to about 55 amps, which is still plenty for most aircraft. An extension cord may be needed to reach the aircraft. A heavy duty 12 gauge grounded type is the best. Keep the cord length as short as possible to preserve the available input power from your wall outlet. Once the GPU is connected to AC, move its three position power switch up to the GPU position. You should see the digital output meters quickly stabilize at slightly more than 28 volts. At this point, there's no load on the GPU, so the ammeter reads zero. Before connecting the GPU to your aircraft, review your airplane flight manual or pilot's operating handbook for any specific instructions on using an external power source. This is important because the procedures vary from one aircraft type to another. With some aircraft, the external power receptacle must be activated by a switch in the cockpit. For this and many other aircraft, you simply plug the GPU output cable into the external power receptacle and it automatically energizes the aircraft's main electrical bus, just as if you had turned on the battery master switch. A quick look at the output meters on the GPU shows the aircraft's static load. If your particular aircraft engages the ship's battery when the external power is applied, you'll see the initial load on the GPU start out higher then tick down as the GPU tops off the battery's charge over a period of a few minutes. Having the battery in circuit with the GPU is a good thing in most cases, as the excess current of the battery provides a reserve capacity above the GPU's continuous output. This is useful for the higher initial current of electric motors for things like hydraulic pumps or electric air conditioning. Just make sure the continuous load is less than the GPU's rated output. Otherwise, the overage can discharge your battery. Larger aircraft typically activate more systems when external power is applied, so you may need to experiment with pulling breakers of unnecessary circuits to arrive at a configuration that meets your needs, yet still falls within the GPU's maximum rated output. Once you know this configuration, make note of it or mark those circuit breakers for easy reference in the future. I'm going to engage the Mirage's battery master switch now and you'll see what I mean. The load on the GPU increases, then begins ticking down. Next I'll turn on the avionics master 
and again we see the load to the GPU increase. The same thing occurs as I activate other airframe electrical circuits such as when doing my pre-flight inspection of exterior lighting. High current items like de-icing equipment or environmental systems will increase the current load a lot more. Many pilots actually avoid or rush their pre-flight inspection of things like exterior lighting because it can rapidly drain the ship's battery of reserves needed for engine starts. This is especially true with turbine engines where having the maximum battery capacity available for engine starts can make the difference between a normal cool start and a very expensive hot start. By using the GPU during pre-flight, your inspection can be thorough and at a deliberate pace while preserving or topping off the ship's battery for optimal engine start. Unlike conventional power supplies where the output voltage decreases as the load increases, our GPU employs switching mode power modules, so its voltage will remain stable throughout its output range. This characteristic is extremely important so that your valuable cockpit electronics are never at risk from using external power. If you observe an output voltage on the GPU of less than 24 volts, this is an abnormal condition and warrants immediate attention. Discontinue its use until the problem can be resolved. Our GPU has a one-year parts and labor limited warranty. If you experience any difficulty or even suspect a problem, feel free to contact our technical service department for help or to request a customer return number to ship your unit back to our factory to verify its proper operation. When you're done, simply reverse the connection process, turn off the avionics master and any other active circuits, switch the aircraft's battery master switch and external power switch is off. Remove the GPU's output cable from the aircraft, then turn the GPU off. All that's left is to tidy up by storing the AC input cord and the output cable in the side caddies along with any tools or supplies. Be sure to go back in the cockpit to restore the operation of any circuit breakers that may have been pulled for your ground power configuration. Many of our customers who fly into remote locations with limited ground services actually fly with their GPUs on board to assure they always have ground power to avoid getting stranded. As you can see, it's compact and weighs only about 25 pounds. You may have noticed that the power switch for our GPU has three positions, off in the center, GPU at the top, and charger at the bottom. This last position is to accommodate an optional built-in battery minder. This exclusive option combines these two essential functions into one convenient package. The battery minder is designed for automatic, continuous, unattended operation. It has ambient temperature sensing to regulate its output so it will never over or undercharge your battery. A simple wiring kit is provided to add a safe, legal, quick connection harness to your aircraft. Just hand the kit to your mechanic for installation. Then any time your aircraft is in hangar storage, simply plug in the charger harness. To maintain optimum battery charge, restore lost battery capacity, and start saving money by extending your battery life. Our GPUs are available in 35 amp and 70 amp models with or without the built-in battery minder option. More information is available at our website audioauthority.com slash aviation. Now fly safely.